All right, hey guys, just wanted to talk about the, the C3s and A1s that you, we've been talking about online a little bit. Um, before I go into that, just want to talk about everyone seems to be really worked up over the miles an hour, and we want the biggest mile an hour, and that may not always be the case, but there's a little bit behind the scenes that a lot of people don't realize about those. So a lot of people say 180 max is 142 miles an hour. Well that's kind of true by the if you pull straight back to D and go straight forward to 2 that is the max 142 can't go any higher proven tested thorough confirmed that is the max but it's not the max 180 so 180 is pull back straight go forward the opposite direction so if you pull back a little bit right of D and go forward a little bit left of 2 that's still a 180 but you might now get a 143 or a 145. And the reasoning behind that is the ball's not actually going any further. When they first were working on the shot meter, um, we learned this at um, IT when we went there to work on the 120 glitch, Mouth and I, and we were talking to the engineer of the swing and there's actually a multiplier in the speed because when they started that shot meter, when they were pulling back to C or A and going forward to ones and one and a halfs and threes, they were noticing some really weird numbers and they were actually smaller. And the reason for that is kind of what I talked about in my post. When you push straight forward to three, half your power is going to two, half your power is going to change clubs. So your numbers are going to be a little bit lower. So they were worried that was going to um, make the players think they're not hitting as hard or make the people think it's not going as far. So they put in a small multiplier that only, only affects the number in that shot meter. It doesn't affect your shot or your distance of your tee shot or your iron. It only affects the number that comes up in that shot meter. So when you pull back, say, B2 or B and a, B and a half and go forward to one and a half and you pull a 148, that 148 actually gonna go the same distance as a 142 B2. It's just gonna go at an angle. So kind of keep that in mind. As you get further away from two to choose club, those numbers are gonna go up. So when you get to doing the C3s and A1s, where you're getting clear out there, the max speed is 158. Again, tested, confirmed, that is the max number. There is no 159. It's 158. So when you're looking at your numbers, getting over 150 is a good goal. Getting 158 every time, yeah, you, you can get that. But since they did the 120 fix, it's harder to get those bigger numbers, especially for me. Like I said, I'm, I'm not what they consider in the category of tall people. So when I step back a little bit, my wrist is already almost below the ball, so I do things a little bit differently. And I do those because it works for me and it kind of helps against the physics. So when I pull back, I pull back to a full C and then I get that locked in and then I spin the ball to the C. And I used to, before the patch, I'd be really good at spinning. But now after the 120 patch, I get it spinning about like this. And then I go across and I want my middle finger to basically go right across the tip of the arrow on the right of two. And that's kind of how I aim it. And because the track ball is spinning towards C, you have a roller down the left that's taking readings and you have a roller across the top that's taking readings. Okay, that tends to trick the track ball a little bit and it gives me a reading more closer to three out there so I get those higher numbers, but I'm going two and a quarter to two and a half with my thing. So I'm getting more of my power going straight forward versus losing half of it going out to the right more. It seems to work for me. I'll pull up a game here in a second and show you, but that's kind of my thought process behind it and what I do, why I do it and how it works for me. So let's Welcome see what we can do here. This is Golden Tee Golf. Good luck to anybody going for Worlds, by the way. Have fun. I. I got the privilege to go there last year. It was a blast. I don't think it's going to work out for me this year, so I don't really plan on trying, but who knows? I get crazy sometimes and 
things will happen, so. I'll start off on oak because that's always, or almost always a C3 hole right out of the chute. out there so I'm gonna get pulled back almost to change club get it spinning and then go right over the right side of the two arrow and you can see that gave me about a 2.75 and a 152 if I were to do the same thing I'll just do it here for the hell of it I'll do another C3 for mile an hour only and I'm gonna try to get way out to three I have a hard time even getting into the 140. Um, C3s are a little harder for me because I'm a righty. My A1s I have less of a problem with, but it's one of those things where you just kind of go with what works for you and go that way. And so that's what I do and why I do it. <laughs> 